Hey guys, welcome back to The Price of His Toys. And today we're gonna to do an unboxing and a quick look at the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. Um, just got this yesterday. Haven't even opened the box yet, so. You're here with me for the first time as we take a look inside. Ordered this off of um, Amazon for 159, I believe. That's the going retail price. I haven't seen any big sales on it yet, so keep your eyes peeled. But this is it, the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. For those of you not familiar with DJI, they started off with the drone series of toys. And as far as I'm concerned, they are probably the best uh, consumer makers of drones. They have excellent cameras on board and they're all automated, computerized now. They've got minis and full commercial sized drones available for purchase. But anyway, they started getting into the gimbal side of things, sticking with that photography theme. And this is their third release. They also have the um, DJI 4SE, that's the OM4SE, the OM5, and now the Mobile 6. So let's take a look inside here. Got the clean white packaging, which is true of all DJI products. And uh, if I would just follow the signs here, need to cut into that. There we go. Look at that. So unfold the creativity. Also, if you want to learn how to say unfold the creativity in Japanese, that's it right there. Let's take a peek. Inside the box, we got some cables, I believe. This does take USB-C, as do the others. So that's good. There's your USB-C connector that connects to the gimbal. And then we got some paperwork. There's a manual with lots of tiny foreign writing, Japanese and I'm not sure what else, but definitely some Japanese in there. And we've got more pieces of documentation. There's the quick start guide and safety guidelines, all in plenty of different languages. And that's it for the little pouch. And then inside the main box, we've got the quick magnetic attachment. And oh, this is nice, got some heft to it. Wow, this is really cool. Feels nice and solid, definitely. Probably not charged up at all. Um, and I don't know how to turn it on anyway. So this is my first DJI gimbal. Apparently this is the power button right here. So it may come with a little bit of a charge like so many things do nowadays. But I need to uh, read the instructions, that's for sure. But anyway, yeah, it feels really solid and firm in the hand. I'll take a look at the instructions and see what kind of goodies and features it has built onto it. That's the gimbal. And this is gonna be the extending hand grip, I take it. Yep, so that's the tripod. And not sure how it extends, maybe with this button. I don't know. That's what the instructions are for, right? But anyway, got some salt for uh, cooking with later. And some little felt feet for some reason. Not sure what those are for. But anyway, the box just goes over. Basically, you've got a code here you can scan to get the software. I've got that downloaded already. Um, can't remember the name of it. it's Mimo or Mimo 
which is a DJI favorite. Number two is just showing you that it has the quick activation. You unfold it, and if it's charged up and ready to go, it will turn it on just by unfolding it. Number three is just indicating the quick connect magnetic feature that it has. And number four is showing us about the, um, how this comes out. Look at that, I did it. Boy, it's nice and firm too. Not sure how far that opens up, but we'll take a look at that later. And I'll give you all the specs on it as well. So basically this is everything in the box. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on the specs before I get into the instructions. Um, it is again the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. Comes with the lithium polymer type 25 battery. Uh, it's a capacity of 1000 milliamp hours, which is the same as their previous model, but uh, the energy is 7.74 watts. Operating time is approximately six and a half hours, listed at six hours, 24 minutes, which is about the same as the previous model. Um, charging time is about an hour, 24 minutes, which is six minutes less than the previous model. And all of their models come with USB-C. So the uh, particular model is Bluetooth 5.1, which is a step up from their previous two models that have Bluetooth 5.0. Software is the same as all three, the DJI MIMO or MIMO, however you pronounce that. Um, does have the quick launch feature for the first time. So the gimbal automatically powers on once you unfold it and attach the phone. Uses uh, ActiveTrack 5.0, which is an update to DJI's, DJI's famous tracking software. So it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna read the instructions now and we'll get back to you in a moment. Before we get to the operations of this thing, I'll just show you really quickly the obvious parts. Um, this is your tripod which folds up and it connects at the bottom like most camera accessories do. That's that. Folds up like that, so you can hold it like that or unfold it and set it stationary on a table somewhere. Also, um, if you're looking at the front of it, on the right hand side, this is your charging port. So we're gonna plug this in, USB-C, and then I'll find a power port to plug this into, or an adapter rather. Get it all charged up before we go any further. So I just plugged it in. Again, the uh, plug right here, the USB-C connector is on the right hand side as you're facing the device. Um, right away I noticed you got a little blinking light here. So that's the battery indicator. Uh, I'm not sure if that turns solid or what when it's finished, but we'll keep an eye on it and get back to you. So I'm going to start by saying I don't much care for the quick start guide. It's one of those that's basically just written in hieroglyphics and I kind of dig manuals, if, especially if it's something I'm using for the first time. I've never played with their software before. I've never used a three-axis gimbal. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of behind the times. But like the inside of the box flap indicated um, with that little code, this actually goes to a full-on manual online. So I'm really excited about that. I like to get into a manual, find all the hidden commands and tricks and tips that you can use for the device and not just be limited to what I find out playing with it. Um, like I said previously, number two is just kind of indicating the automatic turn on and the various ways you can turn and twist it and so forth. Um, number three you know, showing you again the uh, magnetic quick attachment. And then number four, I have no idea. It's, it's too small to even see half of this print. Um, M is the mode button. I do know that from previous documentations. And I don't know what this other stuff means, just different ways to spin the camera, I guess, to spin the gimbal, but that's what this is for. So we're going to take a look at that manual and figure it all out. So I've been charging this 
three axle gimbal for a couple hours now and the uh, green light goes out when it's fully charged. So unplug the USB-C charging cable and uh, when you turn it on, you get a solid green light there. The flashing red light above it is the system status indicator. You get flashing red when there's no magnetic mount connection attached to the gimbal. Obviously can't do that right now with the phone, so I'm just going to go over the controls real briefly and that'll be that. Um, if this were attached to the gimbal by the magnetic mount, I would get a uh, yellow flashing light, I believe, which indicates that the Bluetooth is not connected. So you go through the Bluetooth settings, get that connected, and then you'd get a green indicator light. Um, so it's pretty simple looking at the manual. It's got a lot of various features for each control. So that's gonna take some getting used to, but basically this is gonna be the uh, gimbal direction. This little joystick there goes up, down, left, right, and all around. And you can uh, move your point of view from your phone with that button. Um, the red one is pretty obvious. That's going to be to take pictures or if you're in uh, video mode, start and stop the video recording. And then this one down here is the switch button. Press it once and it's going to switch between front and back cameras. You give it a double press and it's going to switch between portrait and landscape. And if you give it a triple press, it's gonna switch between either camera or video mode. Um, the little knob on the side is a spin dial and that will default to uh, zoom. You can also go into the settings and change that to a um, field of view focus. Those of you that do a lot of manual camera work that's just going to change your field of view so you can focus uh, on an object up close and leave kind of a blurry background so to speak so that's basically it in a nutshell um, I've gone over a couple of the quick tutorials when you run the Mimo app that is how you pronounce it it has um, various tutorials that actually run while you're playing with the gimbal and the camera so you can learn as you go along and everything I just showed you right there is basically part of the intro video but they've got a whole slew of videos that um, introduce you to different aspects of the gimbal and how to operate it and uh, eventually get into the app control as well so it's pretty powerful there's a lot of different features I noticed so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.